Hey, Strike Brigade, how you doing? I'm Specialist Joe Padula with the 2nd Brigade Public Affairs Office, and this is Strike Zone Afghanistan. Strike Zone Afghanistan is the Brigade's TV show dedicated to keeping you, the viewer, up to date with all the great things Strike Brigade is doing right here in Kandahar, Afghanistan. On it, I'm going to introduce some pretty cool things, like key events, some great training, words of wisdom, and a look at the history of where we are. So stick around and enjoy a great show about the 101st one and only Strike Brigade. Absolutely. The transfer of authority ceremony, also known as a TOA, is one of the first events a unit does once in theater. Specialist Mike Monroe has more. First Strike has taken control of the Zari district in the Kandahar province of Afghanistan. In a transfer of authority ceremony, 112 Infantry signed command of the area over to the 1st of the 502nd. The men and women of First Strike on this historic day assume responsibility to protect the people strengthen the local government, and help build a stronger economic environment in East Zari. 1st Battalion had been operating in the area prior to the transfer of authority and will continue to secure the district. We're improving on our footprint right now. Force protection, ensuring that our soldiers uh, are protected from the enemy forces on, on all the fobs and cops that we have throughout the AO of Zari. The remainder of Strike Brigade will follow 1st Battalion and will assume their place throughout the province as a land-owning unit. From Kandahar Airfield, I'm Specialist Mike Monroe. Yeah, Specialist Monroe, great story. And with First Strike leading the way, forget about it. Now, Kandahar Airfield is where all units operating in this area go first. Here they do some great training and acclimatize before heading out to their assigned bases. Take a look at some of the Strike soldiers here at CAF. Kandahar Airfield is a military base located just outside the capital city of Kandahar and is attached to the Kandahar International Airport. The airport was built in the 1960s for commercial traffic, but has since been redesigned for both commercial and military flights. Currently, Kandahar Airfield is maintained by the Canadian Armed Forces, and with the recent surge of troops, a large presence of NATO's International Security Assistance Forces are now there. The base is prominent for the U.S. and Canadian forces, but many different soldiers from many different nations are there as well. You got the Brits, the Australians, soldiers from countries like Belgium, Bulgaria, Denmark, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Romania, Slovakia. Look at the size of this list. Hoofa! Now some are stationed here, and some are in transit preparing to go to their forward operating bases and combat outposts. But before leaving this base, they must complete some crucial training. One of the required courses is vehicle rollover training, where soldiers receive great information on the hows, the whys, and what to do when a vehicle rollover happens. After the instruction part of the course, they enter a simulator, which takes the soldiers inside a mine-resistant ambush protected vehicle, also known as the MRAP, and experience for themselves what to do in an overturned situation. Private Dennis Peterson, of Strike's headquarters and headquarters company 
said that the hands-on training is what really made it special and is more confident now than before. Another class the soldiers must go through is the Counter Improvised Explosive Devices course, and this is a big one. Countering IEDs is what all soldiers operating Kandahar must be aware of, and the course provides in-depth information. Soldiers are taught how to identify IEDs, how they are made, with what materials, how to locate where they are, and how to handle the situation when alerted.